All right. All right, hey guys. Yeah, it's me. And what I want to do is I want to I want to point out um things I noticed that are wrong with the live action Bleach movie, which by the way you can currently watch on Netflix if you do have that service. I hope you hope you do, and I hope you guys enjoyed it because frankly, okay. I'm going to tell you guys right now that the, the plot's predictable, the characters were kind of over-exaggerated, well, all except for, like, eight, the actor they picked to play Ichigo. Rukia, I swear to God, was... was as dull as a... was as dull as a dish rag. And, like, the character... the actors they got to play Byakuya and... Renji, I swear to God, those two were doing like were being like really, really evil or something like that. And yes, I'm talking about the live action Bleach movie that you know came out and came out on Netflix in like 2018. I want to say, yeah. So um, yeah um. So anyway, guys. I wanted to point these things out to you guys because these are things that I th that I was really hoping they were going to catch on their own, but obviously the people that obviously the people who made this movie are not are not that intelligent. Okay, like number one, at the start of the movie, Ichigo, well, the live action Ichigo, you know, it's, it's well, it's basically that scene, it's that flashback scene where, you know, he's walking with his mother to, or from, or walking to somewhere, or wherever they're walking, maybe they're heading home. And, like, I noticed that Ichigo's hair is the wrong color. Like, they couldn't get so, like, they couldn't, you know, just make his hair the right color, like, orange. The kid, the actor they picked to play six-year-old him had black hair. And if I remember correctly, Ichigo's hair was orange. Yeah, and that brings me also to my second point. Ichigo's mother at the start of the movie was alive. Whereas she's actually, whereas if they had done it the right way, whereas if they had done that flashback scene, you know, when they're supposed to, they would have, you know, shown that she's, you know, deceased. Yeah, that she's already deceased. <sighs> okay. This one, I... This mo this screw up, I don't know how on God's green earth they made this mistake. But does anybody remember that scene in episode one where Rukia, you know, walks into Ichigo's bedroom through his like where she walks in through the window and she steps onto the to that table he has or whatever it was? Well, in the movie, in the live action movie. She appears where he, when he's when he when Ichigo's not looking, whereas he should have been laying in his bed when she appeared, and like he opens his eyes and notices, you know, that someone's in his room and he doesn't know who that is yet. <sighs> oh boy, this this moment. <laughs> now, does anybody remember that scene in the first episode of, 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 the, of Bleach where Rukia binds Ichigo's hands behind his back? Yes, he was standing. But first of all, does anybody remember where he landed when he eventually landed? Was it A, on his bed, or B, on the floor? It was B, on the floor. Whereas in the movie, he, lay, he falls onto his bed. Whereas he should be lying on the floor on his gut. 
which is, you know, basically from the first episode. Thank you very much. Okay. Netflix. If you were going to cast someone to play Orihime in this movie, why couldn't you have, you know, at least dyed this actress's hair? You know, like dark, you know, like dark orange, because the actress you got to play her seemed a little, um, how do I word this nicely, a little bit uh, obsessed with him. And also her hair color was the wrong, what her hair was the wrong color. It should have been dark orange, whereas her hair was actually, you guessed it, black. I don't get why. Okay. Now this moment I may this I may be I may be misremembering or maybe they never showed it in the anime, but if I remember correctly, Rukia does not train Ichigo. Well, okay, maybe she does, but I think what she has him do is like you know, go like run around taking care of hollows or something like that. At least that's as far as I remember it. And if I remember, and if I also remember correctly, it was Kisuke Urahara who was the one who trains Ichigo, you know, before he gets ready to go to the Soul Society to try to save Ruki, which, God forbid if they do another one of these movies, too. God, I hope they don't. I really hope they don't. <clears throat> now, this moment, again... Again, I may have gotten this. I may have gotten this moment wrong. I don't. I don't know. Maybe I got it right. Maybe I got it wrong. I don't know. But if I remember correctly, Ichigo and Rukia run into Orihime in town. Not when. She, not when they're a distance from a bridge and Orihime is carrying like groceries home. That's where I remember her being. Unless I'm remembering that wrong. Again, I could be wrong about that. <sighs> this moment, I don't know how on God's green earth they... I don't know how they messed this one up. This one should... This is this was so easy to fix. Again, Kisuke Urahara's jacket is not... Is, is supposed to be green, not purple. You know that jacket that he wears? You know that jacket that he wears? Okay, yes. I'm talking about the one that he wears where where it's like, where basically it's not the one that's, you know, unbuttoned or unzipped or whatever the heck. Whatever the heck is going on. Anyway, this brings me to my final thing that I noticed that's wrong with this, that's wrong with this movie. And mind you guys, these are things that I noticed myself. Because I tried to remember... I tried to remember these scenes from the anime as well. I mean, I tried to remember these scenes from the anime. You know, in connection with this movie. So that that way I'd know for sure, you know, whether or not they did it fairly accurately. Because, again, what do I give this movie? As far as, like, a 1 out of 10? Um... About a five or six, maybe, maybe on the maybe just on the fact of hearing the original voice of hearing most of the original voice act, maybe hearing most of the English dub voice actors. That's that's like one of the good things. If I remember right, the correct the voice actors they got back that are supposed to be there was Ichigo's, Uryu's. Um, Byakuya's, and I think from like episode 221 to 366, Kisuke Urahara's, um, anyway, anyway, getting back on, uh, getting back to my last point here, <clears throat> um, okay, when Rukia is getting ready to go back to the Soul Society, again, I don't know why, because there was this one scene in the movie which kind of which kind of makes this scene not make any sense. 
the scene I'm talking about is the scene where Ichigo has to take on the where okay, where Ichigo and his family are getting ready to go to the um you know, graveside of his of his mom who's been I don't know, probably gone for like nine years or something like that. At least that's be my guess. And of course, you know, the God, what did they call that thing? A grand fissure? Grand fissure, something like that. I can't well anyway. I could try to spell I could try to spell it for you if you guys can figure out what I'm talking about here. I believe it's called a G R A N D and then put a space in there and it's F I S H E R. I could be wrong on the spelling, you know. Well anyway. The deal was that Ichigo made with Byakuya, um, again, who I think personally, him and Renji were being, you know, just, I don't know, just straight up like villains or something like that. And yes, I know at the time, you know, that that Rukia was, um, you know, being, you know, kind of a, no, we're not going to worry about that. You know, Rukia was, you know, being told to go back to the Soul Society and, you know, and even though Ichigo did defeat the, um, the, uh, you know, Grand Fisher, yeah, um, um, yeah, and the deal was that if Ichigo did that, that Rookie would be set free or, or, or they would free or, or something like that. But then, of course, you know how that scene played out, you know, where Rukia basically just gets on Ichigo's ass, gets on his case about, you know, you know, because he's human and all that garbage. And he basically, you know, and she basically, you know, says, you know, says what she says. Oh, and by the way, they did not get Rukia's voice actress back, Michelle Ruff. I don't know why they didn't, why they couldn't get her back. I mean, what, I mean, maybe it was like some sort of like union problem or something like that. I don't know. But, um, anyway, anyway, it turns out that just before she goes back, she basically ends up getting like her powers back and, and I, and oh yeah, and she also ends up wearing her soul reaper outfit again. Because of course, you know what you know what happened in the first episode after she gave Ichigo like her powers, you know, I guess that was not, you know, I guess he got all of them. And I don't really get why. Why they even you know, why this movie was even made, because again, like I said, Plot's predictable, characters are, you know, you know, kind of dull. I mean, like, the only one that really even got his character even close to right was, was the actor they picked to play Ichigo. That's kind of about it. And yes, it was nice hearing Johnny Young Bosch voice, voice Ichigo in the English language, you know, version of the movie. It was very, very nice hearing that. Would have been nice hearing, you know, Michelle Ruff's Rukia again. You know, because, um, again, I don't know if getting her back was like a union problem or something like that. I don't really know. So, um, I guess we'll have to leave that one up to, leave that one up to get, leave that up to guessing because that, um, yeah. So anyway, if you guys, if you guys have seen the Bleach anime and, you know, you, Okay, here's my recommendation. Watch the anime first. Get the episodes committed to memory. And then watch this movie and see if everything I ever see if everything I pointed out in this in this video was right. Oh, and uh, you guys are gonna notice that Rukia's hair is not is not done the right way. No 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 no. Whereas she has, like, that one strand of hair that's, like, you know, like, you know, it goes, like, down here and it goes like that. 
That's about as close as I could, you know, show. That's about as close as I could get. Or maybe it's like, you know, like this. Something like, something like that. Anyway, anyway, guys. Yeah, her her hair, like, in the movie is, like, in a ponytail for some reason. And I don't completely know why at this point. And I don't know why. And yes, by the way, I did watch this movie last night. And I don't mean last night as in hours ago. I mean last night as in the, as in, you know, like over a day ago. And I got to say the movie, frankly, was not very good. You guys, the movie wasn't very good. Like I said, plot's predictable. The characters were just, most of the characters were just, out of character. Oh yeah, and let, and, let, and let me tell you this before I go, guys. When Ichigo's life seemed to return back to normal, it's like, it's like Uryu became, you know, like, you know, became some, became a different person, and he almost acted like he never met Ichigo ever. And I don't really understand that because it's far as I know, even after Rukia left, if my memory serves correctly, and I may and I may be misremembering this, even then, Udiya still knew who Ichigo was. <coughs> yeah, um, so that uh, that is a part of the movie that that also doesn't make doesn't make a lot of sense, you guys. That's the part of the movie that, that also does not make any does not make any logical sense to me. So, um, if you guys, yeah, that's number that's uh, number ten. Yeah, if you guys are wondering about that, <laughs> yeah. So, if you guys did enjoy this video, and I really hope you did, and if you guys have seen this movie, you know, share your thoughts on it. You know. Um, go ahead and share your thoughts on this movie if you guys have seen it, or if you guys, you know, or again, like I said, guys, if I got, you know, if I got some information, you know, in my review of this movie wrong, just let me know what I got wrong, please. Just, just let me know. That's all you have to do. Because again, guys, these are things that I noticed that are that are completely that that I noticed that could that are that I again. Let me point let me point out the title of this video. Things I noticed that are wrong with the Bleach live action movie, which is available to watch on Netflix. So if you guys have you know have if you guys have Netflix, and you've seen this movie. Here's what I recommend you do. Watch the entire series. Okay? Actually watch like the first um, 20 to maybe 25 episodes. And make sure you commit each one to memory. It'll help you when you're watching this movie because... That's around the area where, you know, where it cuts off, you know, after Rukia... You know, it goes back to the Soul Society and, and everyone and nobody even knows that she's gone. And nobody remember nobody even knows she was ever even there. Oh man. So yeah, I mean, if you guys have seen this movie, you know, share your thoughts about it. And uh, you know, just let me know what you thought of it. And guys, if you did, if you enjoyed this video, and I kind of hope you did, and if you did, you know, maybe, you know, a like would be appreciated. And no, guys, this does not mean I'm coming back. I'm coming, I'm not coming back. I just wanted to, do, I just wanted to get this video done, you know, so then that way I could finally share my thoughts on the, on the, 
Bleach live action movie. I just wanted to share my thoughts. That's all. That's all I wanted to do, guys. I'm not coming back. As far as I'm concerned, YouTube, you can kiss my ass. Not yet. All right. And guys, remember, you guys take care of yourselves. You be safe out there. You be careful out there. And guys, till next time. No. And guys, for the last time, see you when I see you.